You can check the evaporator of the air conditioning for leaks while installed in the engine compartment. For this, the expansion valve must be removed. First of all, in the sprinter, the air filter case is removed. Separate the plug connections for the air temperature as well as the air volume sensor. Then the hose clamp of the turbocharger vacuum pipe is removed. Raise the emergency start and then you can remove the air filter case. Now on the bulkhead wall of the engine compartment, the expansion valve is accessible. Later for the leak check, a test adapter is connected here. However, before you begin with the real work, the air conditioning must be emptied. For the examination, connect the climate service station. Red stands for high pressure, blue for low pressure. A look at the service gauge and you'll see. When both gauges read zero bar, the air conditioning is empty. The expansion valve is unscrewed. First, remove the nut. The air conditioning pressure and suction pipelines are removed from the expansion valve. For safety, close the openings with a stopper so that no humidity can get in. The expansion valve is fastened with two screws. Remove both screws and take the expansion valve from the evaporator. By the way, the expansion valve is not always so easily accessible. For comparison, an Actros, here more must be removed to get to the expansion valve. And for the E-Class, the engine compartment paneling and the windshield wiper linkage have to be removed. However, back to the leak check. Now we have removed the expansion valve and I have here an AC box so you can see where the expansion valve is. This whole part is in the interior of the vehicle and an evaporator is connected to this expansion valve. In order to check this evaporator, attach the test adapter to the expansion valve. Then the evaporator can be checked with the help of the test adapter without having to remove it and you can check whether the evaporator is leaking or not. And then can, with the help of the adapters, this verdampfer in the eingebauten zustand geprüft werden. And they machen with the prüfung eine feststellung ob the verdampfer dicht is or undicht. Two test adapters are available for the leak check. Compare which of the two test adapters fit the removed expansion valve. Before you connect the test adapter to the evaporator, there's something else to look out for. Exchange the O-rings in the evaporator and simply cover with coolant and insert. Then put on the test adapter. As before, the expansion valve is fastened to the adapter with two screws. The pull-out hook helps you with this. Now use the nitrogen pressure and leak testing set. Make sure that the device is well sealed. Only then is an exact examination guaranteed. Take off the protective cap of the test adapter and then connect the testing set to the test adapter and open the valve. The nitrogen bottle has a pressure of 200 bar. For the check, the pressure is lowered to 15 bar. Control the pressure with the pressure regulator. And then we wait. The system pressure must stay like this for at least four hours. Make sure that during this time the surroundings stay the same in relationship to the vehicle because temperature changes can cause pressure fluctuations. After four hours, if the pressure is still at 15 bar, the evaporator is sealed. If the pressure has dropped, then the evaporator is leaking and must be exchanged. By the way, this leak check is equally valid for passenger car as well as commercial vehicles.